Hello and welcome to the video Great Multimodal Maven Project in IntelliJ IDEA. I am Nam Hamming from CodeJava.net. Through this video, you will learn how to develop a multimodal Maven project in IntelliJ IDEA. Uh, suppose that we need to develop a project that has two types of apps, a control app and desktop app. Each kind of app has its own code and they also share some common code in a shared library. So there would be three different projects. The first one is for the shared library. The second one is for the control app and the third one is for the desktop app. So as you can see, this is a very common scenario in a software project development. So using Maven, firstly, we need to create the root project uh, and then uh, create the first module for the shared library and create the second module for the console app and create the third module for the desktop app. And note that the packaging type for the root project is POM, whereas the packaging type of the three modules is JAR. You see. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to develop such a multi module Maven project using IntelliJ IDEA. So, as you can see, I'm using IntelliJ IDEA version 2021.2 uh, Ultimate Edition here. So, click the new project button to create a new project and choose Maven here. And click next and enter the project name. This is a root project, my company project. You can uh, specify the group ID, artifact ID, and version here. And I specify the group ID is com, uh, my company. Okay, and click finish to create the root project. Here we go, you can see the Maven project file, pom.xml here. Nothing special, right? Now let's uh, create the first module. So right click on the root project and select new module here. And choose Maven here. Click next. And you can see the parent project of the new module is the my company project here. And enter the project name for the first module, which is uh, set library. And you can specify the artifact information here, group ID, artifact ID version. Okay, click finish. And you can see this is a Maven project file of the shared library project here. You can see it has a parent, which is the my company project here. And in the Maven project file of the root project, you see the packaging type is updated to POM here. Uh, and the first module here, the first module of the root project is shared library here. So you can see uh, IntelliJ uh, IDEA automatically uh, updates the packaging type and the modules uh, of the root project and uh, specify the same version for the uh, library, shared library here uh, after the artifact ID information here. Okay, and uh, let's write some code for this uh, shared library project. Create a new Java package here. Com dot my company and code the first Java class here. Common utility. And in this uh, Java class, we have a very simple static method that returns the application name. Like this, return my company project beta version. Now let's create the second module, which is for the console app. So right click on the root project, new module here. Select Maven, click next and uh, enter the project name is uh, console app. 
Okay, use the default information for the artifact here and click finish. Okay, you see the Maven project file of the console app here. You see, its parent is a root project, my company project, and in the Maven project file of the root project, it uh, adds a new module control app here. So for now, there are two modules in this project, shared library and control app. Okay, and let's write some Java code in this control app project. So create a new Java package com dot my company and code the main class new java class control app and we have the main method and here we need to get the application name from the common utility which is in the share library project string app name equal uh, we need to use the common utility class from the shared library project here common utility so in the console app project we need to uh, reference uh, the shared library in the maven project file here we need to specify the dependencies information here new dependency and copy the group id artifact and id in the shared library project here artifact id and version here and the group id here okay and uh, click the reload button in the maven view here for the ch changes to take effect okay and now in the Control app here. We can import the common utility class from the shared library project. Get app name here, you see. And we just print out the app name. Uh, welcome to app name. Okay. And now we can run this control application. You see in the console it brings welcome to my company project beta version. My company project beta version uh, is exactly the string returned by the method get app name in the common utility class here. Similarly, uh, now let's create the third module. So right click on the root project here and new module. And we choose Maven here next and enter the project name is uh, desktop app and click finish and in this uh, desktop app we also need to use the shared library so we copy the dependencies uh, information here from the console app to use the shared library here And let's write code for the console for sorry for the desktop application here. Create a new Java package here. Com dot my company and create a new Java class desktop app. And this is a desktop application, so we have this class extends the J frame class and the main method and the constructor and desktop app and here we declare a static uh, variable uh, for the app name app name which is a value from the common utility okay so common utility so we need to reload uh, Maven projects here. Then we can uh, import the common utility class get app name. Okay, now I uh, write some code for showing the uh, window frame window. 
super uh, app name set layout new flow layout add a new uh, label new j label with the text is welcome to app name app name and set the default closed operation is exit on closed set size of the window is about 640 pixel in width and height is 480 pixels and set location relative to no to center the frame window on the screen and in the main method we load the J frame using a swing utilities invoke letter new runnable and new um, desktop app set visible true okay that's it now we can run this desktop application run you see a uh, jframe window appears here with the title is the uh, my company project beta version here and a label here perfect right now let me update the code in the share library project uh, the common utility class here change the uh, string here to my company project ultimate version and now we can run the console application again mm, console app here run again and you see it prints welcome to my company project ultimate version here that means uh, it uh, reviews uh, the share library and also update the console app here and uh, similarly we can uh, run the desktop app again here okay you see the text uh, has updated here my company project ultimate version here now i'd like to show you how to build the whole multimodal maven project using maven uh, go here so open the maven view and uh, click this button to uh, run the maven go here so uh, select uh, mvn install go here double click and you see maven build is running and you see uh, the build success uh, for all the projects in my company project shared library project control app project and desktop app projects you see and in the uh, project directory you can see the jar file uh, created for the control app here you see and a jar file created for the desktop app here you see and a jar file for the shared library here you see shared library here so far i have shared with you how to develop a multi-module maven project using intellij idea i hope you have found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching